No. Ooh, my hair is crazy. Good morning. Good morning, Table Hill children. There's Jenna, Gemma and Gentry. How you doing? Good. Hi, Grant, Maggie. Rock and Paul, we'll tease connecting. That must be Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Everybody's week going okay? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. You gotta try. No. No. Just peeling off from one at a time. No. <sighs> no. Alrighty. No. Like your headband, Gentry. No. You can't hear the other people. I've got it. What's up, Jacob? Hi. <laughs> Bracken. I think we're gonna give people about another minute or two to get on and then we will start. Try. Yeah, you try. Be quiet, Rebecca. All righty. What's Maggie and Grant doing? Pushing each other? <laughs> you use something your legs. Hi. Hi. You do your lesson, okay? You do your stickers over there. <laughs> All right. Who are we missing? Who are we missing? Oh, All right. Ready to get started, guys? Where'd Bracken go? He disappeared. We'll wait for Bracken to reappear. I think I see a dog. Did Bracken turn into a dog? Hello, little doggy. Hello, little doggy. <laughs> Here he is. Bracken reappeared. All right, guys. We're going to get started. All right. So, welcome to your virtual jump. I am Nikki, and <clears throat> I have been working on my selfie game this week. Can you sit up, please. And so, I'm gonna show you some of my a silly selfie I did this week. You're gonna tell me if it's any good, okay? Right? Yeah. How did that look? <laughs> Look at Gentry's face. Yeah. All right. Awesome, right? This one is a keeper. I'm keeping this one. I'm going to make it my profile pic. Ah! This is me with my kids. Ah! You know? <laughs> Look at Bracken just laughing at me. All right. So, taking Silly photos can be a lot of fun. I know you gotta really just gotta put yourself aside and just let her go. So it's so much fun, in fact, that we're gonna play an awesome photo game in just a minute. But first, we're gonna talk about, what are we talking about this summer, guys? It starts with an F, and it's not what my shirt says. This is just our theme. What are we talking about? Like, what is our what is our life app this month? So, faith. faith. There you go. Faith. We are talking about faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can. <laughs> so 
we could put our faith in God because we know he is trustworthy, right? We can focus on the world around us and see everything that God has made. And we can take a closer look and see how he's worked in each of our lives, in the lives of our friends and the lives of our family and in the lives of the people all throughout history, right? So that helps us trust him. So we'll see... Which of you can do the best job of looking at the small details, right? And remembering them. It's time to play. Are you ready to play? We're playing. Copy that photo. Okay? Photo. We're going to copy that photo. So, contestants, which is all of you, you're going to try to recreate a silly photo from some of the leaders that of our church that I got. And you'll know a few people, which is awesome. So if they have a prop, I'm only gonna give you one minute to do this, guys, like for each photo, because we have lots of photos. Or I'm gonna give you less than a minute. As soon as I see you at the screen ready, I, we're gonna call it good, all right? Say yes. Yes, I understand. You're recreating it. You have to, we're gonna try to look just like it, all right? So, Okay, one can look like this, all right? <laughs> so, when you see that, I'm gonna put that up for, let's say, 10 seconds, I'm gonna put it up. You have a minute or less to look like, look at that. Or you have, okay, let me reproof. You have 10 seconds to look at the photo. Look at all the details. You don't have to get a chicken. You could get a stuffed animal or something to recreate the photo. That's why you're only gonna have less than a minute. So don't go very far. Bracken, do you understand how to play? Cause you look, okay. <laughs> you look a little concerned, Bracken. <laughs> so, and Jacob, you may need to turn on a light so I can see you, but this, so everybody understand how you play? You're going to just quickly try to figure out how can I Like I would grab a stuffed animal and I would put it on my shoulder type of thing. But you got to try to look at their face. Are they smiling? Are they frowning? Are they upset? I mean, you're going to try to look at their face and copy that plus any extra details that you see. So I'm gonna give you 10 seconds right now to look at the photo, and then I'm taking it down. All right, ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. All right. You're not looking. Not looking. All right, go. Go read the <laughs> <laughs> Look, Grant and Maggie too. Oh, yes, Rack, and I like that. <laughs> yes, yes. You got it, Jack. All right, we're getting close, guys. You need to be hurry. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> Something else. It's a pushing me thing right there. Recollect things super hard. All right, down. Get to your final pose. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love that Bracken's used a real animal too. So he's got that same thing. I would say Bracken probably wins that. So. Okay, are you guys ready for the next one? Ready? All right, here we go. Here is copy that photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
actually on um you just yeah, have to I don't try. know how to do that. Just try. I'm taking it down in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let me see you guys. Put the screen down, Grant. I can't see. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think Courtney's got, oh, and Jesse's getting in on it. <laughs> I'm looking for a kind of smile. I would say Gemma's got the smile going too. Good job, guys. Good job. Are you ready for the next one? I'm going to say Gemma won that one. All right. Here we go. <laughs> well, she has something on her head, so you have to think about it. That, that's mom! We have the same thing! Okay, I'm taking it down. Copy that photo. You got a minute. Rebecca, why do you keep grabbing your water bottle? She had glasses. She had something on her head. All right, you guys, you're coming down to 30 seconds. Do you have any glasses? No. Where's the little more? Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. oh, yes. Yes. Maggie's got the tutu going. Put anything on your head. Making this too hard, Ruben. All right, guys, we got 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, strike the pose. Oh, yes, Gemma's going on. Where's Gentry? Still getting the stuff. Here got you. Wow, I like it. And Bracken really looks like he's like undercover. <laughs> All right, I love them all. It, it's a real, where are you, Gentry? I can't find mine. Ow. Uh, you could have picked anything. I'm gonna say Maggie won that one. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, you ready for your next one? Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm taking her down. Okay, you have a bit. Of, try to figure that one out. All right, I see two, three. <laughs> Bracket. That's awesome. I, you got. You better strike your pose. Okay, one. Where's Grant? Strike your pose, Grant. Becca, you can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> All right, I see. Uh, Jacob, did you see it? There you go. I'm going to go with Gemma as the winner because she just tilted her head like Ashley did, kind of. So good job, guys. Good job. Are you ready for your next one? You guys are getting the hang of this. You got it. You got it. All right, here we go. We ready? <laughs> taking her down i don't think she had it all the way in guys it was just kind of like right here so <laughs> and make sure you look at the details it's all in the details <laughs> it's all in the details <laughs> I love it, Bracken. I don't have any glasses. My glasses. <laughs> we don't have any glasses, Nikki. It's okay. You can just use whatever. It's fine. Just strike a pose, dude. Let me feel down both. On. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna strike it. Okay, ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. I'm going to go with Ruben just for the simple fact that Krista was puckering her lips like this and doing this. And he's got, a, got his head tilted. So, all right, let's go for our next one. Rebecca, it's just a game. We're calming down. All right, present. Are you guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> all right. I'm taking her down. Look at all those details. Right to that pose. All right. Everybody's got it. I I'm gonna say Bracken was winner on that one because he's kind of got the smile going too, and he's like like you kind of have to have those buggy eyes because Stephanie had she was like, like a real big time. All right, let's go on to our next one. Don't worry, we got plenty, guys. Here we go. Look at Miss Denise. What is Denise doing? Said she was trying to cross her eyes. <laughs> All right. What has she got on? What what does she look like? All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and I'm taking her down. Got a minute to look like what she'd like, Denise. <laughs> uh, I'm a nurse. Not. They will have glasses on. <laughs> there you go. Oh wow, the gentry's got the eye crossing. I don't think she was twirling her tongue. She just stuck her tongue out. <laughs> All right, is everybody here? I think you are. Okay, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Man, Gentry, you can really cross your eyes. Uh, or Gemma, yeah. And Gentry. Oh man, this is a hard one. I'm gonna go with the Parker girls. That was a hard one. That's inappropriate taught me that because my mom got mad at him for teaching us that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another one. <laughs> Who's that, guys? Is that Pastor Mike? Yes. <laughs> Look at all those details. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Look at him. Look at his hair. Two, one. And I'm taking her down. All right. You got a minute. <laughs> it's hard, right? He kind of smiled. And <laughs> look at the Parkers. You guys are awesome. <laughs> He had kind of like a goofy half smile with his hair, and I think he was crossing his eyes again. <laughs> Jacob, it's hard crossing your eyes, isn't it? It's actually bad for you, just so you know. Oh, <laughs> oh look, I love that Grant's got his hair pulled up too. All right, I'm gonna go with Grant. He tried super hard. All right, next one. Yes, your hair. All right, this is the last one. Hi. <laughs> Good, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Remember all those details. Hi. Get in your position. Oh man, I'm gonna say Jacob and Becca, you guys did a good job. Okay, 
Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. So you guys did a great job at focusing on the details, right? So good job. And we're going to jump into our story today with Miss Lee.
thing that we grew harder and harder until it had the force of a hurricane. Paddle for your lives. The sailors lifted a white pole on board and cut ropes under the ship to hold it together. They threw all the cargo overboard. They did anything they could to save the ship and the people on it.
In Rome, Paul was allowed to live in a home where he was watched by guards. For two years, he welcomed anyone who came to see him. He shared the good news of Jesus with the Jewish and non-Jewish people. And just like God had promised, he would do. Paul faced a lot of trouble along the way. Some of the problems he faced were downright scary. I'm sure he never planned on being in a shipwreck or bitten by a snake. But the bottom line is, knowing Jesus changes the way you see your problems. Even though things didn't always go Paul's way, he chose to have faith and trust God. Let's pray and ask God to help us to do that. So we should pray in. Dear God, it's so cool to see how Paul chose to trust you no matter what. He went through so many difficult things, but he kept his faith in you along the way. We know that when we trust you, it changes the way we see our problems. Please help us to be strong when we have to face difficult things. Because we know it's worth it to live your way. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lee. So we all have problems. Paul certainly did, right? He had all those issues. He was prisoner. He was taken aboard a ship that wrecked and he was bitten by a poisonous snake, right? So it, there are lots of problems going on. So anyways, well, that brings up a really important question. When all of those th difficult things that keep happening, that kept happening to Paul, how was he able to keep going? Well, he knew that God was with him. He was determined to continue to do what God had called him to do, and which was share the good news about Jesus. Because Paul trusted God, he could face his problems without being worried, right? So Paul understood that Jesus is the one who God's big story is all about. This whole big thing, parts of it that we've got on our screen, uh, every single thing, all pointed to Jesus at some time. So... He understood, Paul understood that no matter what problems he faced, it was worth it for him to tell the world about Jesus. So we can remember today that knowing Jesus changes the way you see your problems. Our problems and tough situations don't seem as bad when we remember that God is actually with us. He's with us when things are good, and he's with us when things are not so good. So we can focus on him when we're scared or uncertain about things, and we can remember that. We can trust God no matter what, right? We're going to learn more about that this week with our virtual VBS because I'm so happy that every single one of you guys are signed up for our virtual VBS. So it's time for your tablets or extra devices, whatever you got. Gentry and Gemma, you're going to have to unmute yourselves. All you, Courtney. Okay, there you go. Down. I I don't need a code. Six nine three one five. We only have six minutes left, guys. I have to download it. No, just go to Kahoot.it, Jacob. Five seven six. Kahoot dot it. Just go to Kahoot dot it. You don't have to download it. Kahoot dot it. I download it. I think not working. Mine's not working. Right there. Oh my gosh. Did you find it, Jacob? It's not the road. I'm about to enter the pen. Okay. It's not working. Turn off the TV. So let's see. I'm still waiting on. Gentry and Gemma. I, 
Our dad's working on me. Ginger and Gemma and Jake, I think is it. Okay. We only have four minutes left before it kicks us off. Oh, we got Jake the snake. Why aren't you doing it here? Jake the snake. We got Jake the snake. What? All we need? Who are we waiting on? Yeah. Parker girls. Yep. Nine three one five seven six. We're in. Okay, there we go. Get ready, Chloe. Trouble in mind. Maybe you me. What happened to Paul in Rome when he tried to tell people about Jesus? Everybody loved him. He got beaten up. He got made fun of. Or people wanted to hang out with him. What? What happened to Paul in Rome when he tried to tell people about Jesus? Yeah, both of those are right. He got beaten up and he got made fun of. Man. Grant in the lead. Ruben and Rebecca. What happened to Paul in Jerusalem when he tried to tell people about Jesus? He was arrested. They threw him a party. He became a celebrity or he went to a JoJo Seawood concert. I'm going to come back like a boomerang. Yeah, he was arrested. Bracken said that was too obvious. Sorry. <laughs> I love Bracken's comments after each one. Oh, rude. <laughs> when Paul was in prison, dot, 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 he broke out, he ate a lot of hot Cheetos, he made friends, or Jesus appeared to him. What happened when Paul was in prison? Yeah, Jesus appeared to him. Grant's still in the lead. Maggie, come on, get Grant. What happened on that journey back to Rome? It was a big old trip. The boat sank. They turned back around. There was a huge storm where they lost at sea. Which one happened on their journey back to Rome? There was a big storm. The boat didn't sink. There was a big old storm, remember? There was a big storm. Ruben and Rebecca, ooh, Jake the snake coming up. When they reached Malta, what happened to Paul? He got burnt by the fire. He got bit by Jake the snake. Julius killed him or he was scared. What happened when they reached Malta? Yeah, he got bit by a snake. I don't think it was Jake, but are you a time traveler, Jake? Grant still in the lead. How did Paul help the people on Malta? He helped heal the sick. He taught them the renegade. He taught them other songs. And he, taught, he caught them fish to eat. Big boat. No, Bracken Paul Wealthy. Yeah, he helped heal the sick. He prayed to God. He got to help heal the sick people. Last question. How can you be like Paul in times of trouble? Give up, have faith, cry a lot, or trust God? Yeah, you can have faith and trust God. Definitely not cry a lot, even though you can. It's fine, too. Never give up. Yeah. Less than a minute left in third place. Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake. In second place. R and R. Ruby and Rebecca E. And in first place, da, 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 Grant. And the leader podium. Let's see. Oh, we got Maggie and Bracky down there too. Okay. Good job, guys. We'll see you this week with our virtual VBS.
All right. Have fun. Get some stuff done. We'll FaceTime you, Miss Nikki, so you can you can lead, okay? <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Uh, bye. Bye. bye.